Hey there, Tech Buyers Guru here with another RC vehicle video. We're going to talk about the Clybuster. And this is a RC truck that dates back to 1987. This is a classic. There's never really been anything like this. There have been some competitors, but none of them are sold today. You can still buy this today, which is why this is a relevant video. Now, this truck dates back to nearly that long, but it's been completely modified. And I have um, uh, put up some previous videos showing how I upgraded to a Craw Crawford Performance Engineering chassis with dirt track shocks, dual steering servos, front and rear. Um, and I've talked about, and I've shown it being run on a brushed uh, motor system, which was the, basically the original motor system. Uh, now this video is one I've had in the works for a while, and I thought about whether or not it's really worth putting up, and I decided it was. I have converted this to dual brushless. Now, there's lots of forum posts about this for the, over the past 10 years, and there's a few videos out there on YouTube talking about this, but I haven't actually seen anyone like show this on video, like how this is done. And since a lot of people are buying these cloudbusters to modify them, because obviously the original kit dating back to 1987 really isn't that sophisticated, I figured I'd put this up, because I bet there are folks out there who want to do the same thing, who want to get this kit, either they have it sitting in their closet or they want to buy it, and they want to make it modern with a brushless system. Because it's got uh, dual gearboxes and dual motors, that's a little bit harder than converting your typical uh, RC truck to brushless. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to need to uh, get two motors and two electronic speed controls. Unlike with brush motors, you can't run two uh, brush, brushless motors off of a single controller. Um, uh, previously, I had been using a brushed speed control with two uh, 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 electronic speed control with two brush motors, and it worked fine. When you go brushless, you've got to go to dual motors and dual speed controls. And uh, what I ended up using was dual matching uh, Onyx branded speed controls. Um, these are actually a, a clone of or rebrand of the Hobbywing 80 amp speed control, which is a great speed control. The Tower Hobbies was selling these Onyx branded ones for quite a bit cheaper than the um, Hobbywing model, and it's the same speed control. I know because I actually have this speed control in my Red Cat MT-10E, uh, which is also a rebrand. That's a Red Cat rebrand of the Hobbywing controller. It's a very popular controller. It's excellent, um, and it was a great deal at Tower Hobbies. So I got two of these. Hooked him up with two matching motors, Reedy's 3300 kilovolt motor. This is the cheapest brushless motor on the market, honestly. Um, it's, it's actually a little bit surprising. It's harder, hard to find anything cheaper than this. These are like uh, 40 bucks or 45 bucks each. They're 3300 kilovolt four pole, which means they're, they're high torque. And 3300 kilovolt happens to be a pretty good match for this truck. Um, uh, people who race these competitively go to a much higher kilovolt. But what that means is you basically, it's a little bit harder to control, and if you're just bashing around your yard or in the street, you really don't want to have such a high kilovolt rating um, because uh, really it can do damage to the truck. And as I'll show in a running video, this is plenty fast, uh, and I'm running on 2S with two of these 3300 kilovolt reading motors. And I should also mention um, that I got those at Tower Hobbies, uh, although you can get them pretty much anywhere. Um, but make sure you get the four-pole model, the SL4. They also have the original two-pole model that they use in trucks like their RC10T Ready to Run. That's a different motor. I actually have that too, and actually originally I thought it was the same, but it's not. Um, the way you can know is I'm going to show you uh, the, this truck has, uh, these motors have kind of a ribbed exterior, a heat sink material. That's how you know that it's an SL4. The SL2 or the two-pole version actually just has a smooth cam. Okay, other thing I want to show you, of course, is how do you hook up two speed controls to a single battery? Now, in theory, you could run two different batteries in this, and some people do that, but that's kind of a hassle. So, let me show you how this is done. There is uh, an adapter, very inexpensive. I got this, again, I, th I think from Tower Hobbies, and this is maybe a Great Plains model. It's pre-wired, and you can see that it has two outputs. They go to the uh, two speed controls, and I just have one battery here, you can see. I'm going to connect the battery, and it's as simple as hooking up any other battery. So now I don't have to worry about do I have both my batteries plugged in or whatever. I just use this one battery. Now the interesting thing about this is having two speed controls means I have two power buttons, on-off buttons. Now 
there may be a different way to do this, but basically the way this works out when I have them um, uh, wired together, I have a Y harness in here, a simple servo Y harness uh, I'm using to hook up these two speed controls. You can use either power button and it turns on both speed controls. That doesn't mean, however, you've got to use the same power button to turn it off. If I go over the other side and turn on the other speed control, it, it, it basically doesn't do anything different and I can't shut off the system from that speed control. So it's actually kind of a convenience thing. I can turn on the truck from either side. I just um, need to turn it off from the same side to turn it on. So in here I've got my tiny little Futaba receiver uh, taped to the side there. And out of there is a Y harness that goes to the two speed controls. You can see them taped down to the deck of the Cloudbuster in here. Uh, and the Y harness is actually in this bundle. So I'm not going to take it out, but it's a simple servo Y harness. So the parts you need are uh, to go dual brushless are two speed controls, two motors, the uh, kind of the Y harness or the splitter for the battery, a Y harness for your uh, connection to the receiver. And one other thing I added to this because I was going brushless was I added uh, Robinson Racing 32 pitch uh, pinions rather than the, the original uh, 32 pitch pinions that were probably not as n not as durable. The other thing that I should mention is while you can use that Y harness for the speed controls don't do that for your servos. Get a good three channel uh, radio. I've got a 3PV here uh, from Futaba you want to be able to set up your front and rear steering uh, separately because you probably want to dial in more steering for the front than in for the rear. Uh, you may need to center them differently because you know maybe one needs a little bit of a trim to the left, one needs a trim to the right. You don't want to use a Y harness for your servo. It will be a mess in terms of steering. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to take this out and show you this outside running. And here we go.